Hi, this is Jamie from Antelope Beads. We're here today to show you how to use cord end clasps to finish necklaces made with stringing beads onto leather cord. And I'll show you three different techniques today. I'll show you how to use Tagua sliding connectors to make an adjustable necklace. I'll show you how to use wire to wrap around cord ends to secure it to any type of clasp. And finally, I'll show you how to use these crimp ends that are made specifically for cords, come in different styles, different sizes, and can be used with multiple cords as in this example, or in a single cord as used here. And we'll use the super new glue a little bit with all of these techniques just to give it a little bit of added security. Here's an example of a necklace using tagua nut beads as well as kazuri beads and using this tagua slider as the connector. As I said, this technique allows you to make an adjustable piece as you can slide it to as ever long or as ever short you want the piece to be that day. These sliders come in three different styles and all of them are going to have these two holes inside. This is the thumbprint connector, this is the open connector, and this is the flower connector. And they're all going to work the same way. I'll just show you with the open connector just to give you an idea. So you're going to take your leather and you'll use your connector and slide the leather up and through the holes. We'll pretend that you have beads strung on the necklace here. And then you'll take the other end of the leather, string it up, and again through the holes. In this instance, since it's an open connector, you could also string small beads onto the leather there if you wanted to add additional elements to your design. Now that it's through here, you can simply take and tie a knot at the very end of the leather, or in the instance here, I took some little tagua nut rondelles and wrapped the leather around them. So here I'll just use a little tagua round 6mm bead, wrap the leather around it, and tie a little surgeon's knot. And then you'll see that this will keep it from sliding through. I would just do that then with the other side of the end with maybe another bead or a charm or another piece like that. Then I'll just take the super new glue and just put a little dot of glue right on that knot just to secure it. And that's all you need to do to be able to make and use the connector to finish your leather cord. Let's move on to the next technique. Here's another necklace we have where we've strung Zuri beads and pewter onto our leather cord. And then I've used the toggle clasp here to finish it off. Now to be honest, I would have just looped this leather directly through the holes in the toggle clasp, but I didn't realize until too late that these little holes here are too small to fit this thick leather cord that I was using. That's why I made this little double wrapped loop link piece with simple wire wrapping techniques to connect the two. However, what I would have liked to have done is to simply take the leather, take one half of the clasp that I wanted to use, in this case a simple hook and eye clasp, and I just take the leather and string it onto the clasp and fold it back over itself like this. Now I'm going to take about 6 to 8 inches of wire, in this case I'm using a 22 gauge wire, and I'm going to hold it, the wire, with a little bit of a tail in my left hand, making sure that the wire is covering over both ends of that leather. Next I'm going to take my wire and just start wrapping tightly around both ends of the leather. And I can wrap as long as I want to. I can wrap back over itself. In this case, what I'm going to do is go back and use that short tail end 
start wrapping it over the wraps that I've already done until I feel that that's nice and snug and then I can just wrap that wire end around. I can use my crimping pliers if I want to to use that little bit of curvature to curve that end further around the loop and then I'm going to take the other tail end and wrap that one as well. Once I've wrapped it and it's secure, I can just go ahead and trim off any wire ends and again use my crimping pliers to round that out or you can even use chain nose or other wire working pliers. Then I would just go through and snip off the last bit of that leather there and you can add a tiny little dab of glue, the super new glue, right inside there if you'd like, just to have a little added extra bit of security. So that's how you will finish the piece using wire. And we'll do one more technique. And here are just a couple more pieces, and these are both using crimp ends. These are hook and eye clasps that are made specifically to crimp directly onto leather cord. You can see we have some different styles here. This one has a little heart shape as the eye part of the clasp. And on the back, it has that little crimp, kind of like a little tunnel that you'll feed the leather through. We also have this cute leaf shape clasp that works the same way. And then we have some basic hook and eye clasps. In this piece here, we have just one piece of leather fitting into the hook and eye clasp, whereas on this necklace, we have three pieces of leather. And these I just held together as one and used them as if they were one piece as I put the pieces together. So we'll just use one leather cord to show this example. So I'm going to take this piece of leather here, and I have my crimp clasp. The other thing I'm going to want is the super new glue, and I want to use my chain nose pliers. So what I do then is I open up my super new glue and I squeeze it so there's just a tiny bit of glue bubbling at the top there. Tiny bit. And I kind of just take my leather and just take the end and tap it into that little glue bubble that I've made there. This way I know I'm just going to get enough glue to work but not enough so that it's going to goop through. Next, I'm going to take my clasp and I'm going to feed that leather cord right into the end. Now I want to set it so that that leather cord end is just barely visible, just right at the edge of the inside of that uh, leather clasp. Once it's right in there, I simply take my chain nose pliers and I place them on that center flat section of the clasp and I squeeze it. Next I'm going to turn it around completely and squeeze that other side just to make sure that flat part is crimped on both sides. And you'll know as you're crimping it if you're squeezing the wrong spot. If you try to squeeze either end of the crimp, that metal is going to be a lot harder and you won't be able to squeeze it as easily as you do with that middle section. Now to finish this, I would just repeat the same thing with the other end of the clasp. And that's all you do for that technique. So this has been different ways of showing you how to use leather cord ends to finish off necklaces made with leather cord. You can find these finished designs on our website, antelopebeads.com, and you can look there for other videos and beading information as well. Thank you very much.